Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to share with you the page kits I've put together for Collection Obsession. In case you didn't see my previous video, I'm working with a paper pad by Vicky Booten and it's the Where To Next collection. And I'm playing along with our friend Scylla, who's also using a Vicky Booten paper pad this month. So please check out what she is creating on her channel. And I'll have listed everyone else that I know of that is playing along with Collection Obsession as well. I will just explain my process of how I handled the papers for my page kits. I started off by tearing out half the paper pad which is 48 sheets and there's two of each in this pad. So I started off with 24 papers. I built sets with those papers. Then as the piles dwindled down or I couldn't match the papers I had left with what I had in the pile, I then went back to the paper pad and selected the papers that I wanted. After that I then went to my 6x8 paper pad and divided them between the page kits. So this one at this point there isn't many papers left. And the 12 by 12, I have one set of maps and the stripe. As you can see, there are still some papers in here I could use. This one I have got torn out. I do love this paper and I can see myself dipping into this one as the layouts progress. I have got the tags which I will use. I do like this green. It's just a matter of finding something to match it with down the track. Let me share the page kits that I've put together so far. This is page kit one. As you can see, I have the blue, the orange geometric, the green leaves, and the circle design. I also wanted to bring in the black just as an added extra. Page kit two. This is the beachy one. So I've got turquoise map. The brackets. The ledger. I wanted to bring in 
some more colour. So I've got the sun's yellow map and this blue polka dot. You will notice some page kits have more than others and once I've created my layouts I'll be adding the scraps to the other page kits as I go along. In this one I've got the small flower the yellow orange fine stripe this pink and orange geometric the stripes and this turquoise street map there are more pages in this one because I couldn't decide what to add so there definitely will be extras with after I've finished creating with this kit so we've got the pink map pink and orange stripe the yellow script flowers and the wreath. I am considering fussy cutting these for the layout. I also have the butterflies which I will fussy cut and I will only use the colours that are within this colour scheme here. The blue will possibly go on another layout. So this one, I've got the orange geometric, the flowers, and the layered scraps. I also wanted to add the multicolored stripe. I thought that would work well as a band. The next one, we've got the street map, green leaves. And the orange fine stripe with the ledger. I also added in the hexagon print which matches quite well with these papers here and also the buildings. This one has the blue the blue and green stripe, flowers and the grid 6x8 and I think that matches in quite well. I could even add the leftover butterflies to this one for embellishments. I've got two 12 by 12s for this kit. The green polka dot and the black script. I also have the smaller scale of the scraps which I think looks quite good. It is the reverse of the green. 
with the umbrellas so I'm looking at fussy cutting these for embellishments maybe on one side of the page we'll see what it ends up looking like now the last two page kits have only two 12 by 12 papers because I'm unsure of what I'm going to do and I will use the leftover scraps to build the paper kit up so I've got these two so it's the yellow map and the sun the last one I have to share is the turquoise grid and the clouds I hope you've enjoyed seeing the page kits I put together using this collection I will be back soon to share with you the layouts that I have made with these kits thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video bye